Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, um, just back with you because uh, yesterday I did a live stream but uh, it kind of went a bit garbled halfway through and I think you lost a lot of what I said there. Um, so I just wanted to come back and make sure the points that I was trying to cover were covered. Um, so just to sum up what I mentioned yesterday about the two demonstrations that are gathering against uh, Tommy Robinson on Sunday, that's the 9th of December, um, have now come together, which is good. We need unity when we're fighting the fascists uh, because the fascists win if we are divided. Uh, so that means people that are coming together that oppose uh, leaving the European Union, so the Remainers, um, are coming together to march alongside people that want to leave the European Union, the Leavers, uh, Brexit supporters, who oppose Tommy Robinson and oppose UKIP and oppose the sort of racist fascist ideas uh, that those guys represent. So that's a good thing. So Leavers and Remainers are marching together because the demonstration which Tommy Robinson called uh, and UKIP have called um, is nothing to do with Brexit even though they're trying to say that it's to do with Brexit. It is not. It is about racism. It is about fascism. It's about Islamophobia. Okay. Now you might say that uh, you know, I'm some crazy lefty who likes to throw away, throw around the term um, uh, racist or, or fascist just to call anybody that I don't like that word. That is not true. That is not the case. Uh, that's a very important word. Uh, and, it, well, those are two very important words that need to be used only in their correct use uh, when describing uh, what they, uh, what the definition of those words are. Now, Tommy Robinson is a fascist. He's a fascist uh, because he wants us to target... Muslims. He wants to target people of another face. He characterises those people of that faith by the clothes that they wear, uh, by their skin colour, uh, by other languages that they might speak, um, uh, you know, the, what they might wear at the beach, um, where they pray, where they worship, um, uh, what they eat, that sort of thing. To me, that sounds like a fascist ideology. So he wants us to uh, to be well, to either question those people or essentially remove them from the country or stop them from travelling. Now think about it. So he wants to control what people wear. He wants to uh, control what language people use. He's, he wants to um, control whether people can move around different countries or move around this country. He wants people to be targeted because of the colour of their skin or because of the religion that they worship. Uh, and because, the, like, that sounds to me like fascism. Uh, and I'm sure if we look that up in the dictionary, we'll find a very similar description there. So, um, if you put it like that, I mean, some people will say uh, it's, you know, it's not racist to question Islam because Islam's a religion. But think about it. The religion is characterised by differences uh, which are based on, uh, in some cases, and uh, an, an ethnic background difference as well. But I mean, look, these are British people, though, you know. The majority of Muslims in this country are British. They're second, third, fourth generation here. Um, and Tommy Robinson wants to suggest that they've just suddenly turned up. Uh, not only that, he also wants to turn away refugees at the border, which is absolutely disgusting in my opinion, because refugees are here because of wars and because of disasters which have been started by the West, by the Western governments. Um, in Syria, in uh, the Middle East in general, in Africa, um, and we need to hold our governments to account for destroying their homes and we need to do the best that we can to deliver them homes if they come to us for help. Uh, likewise, the homeless people in this country, a lot of which of those are uh, people that we've sent in to destroy the refugees' homes, a lot of uh, ex-soldiers which are also making up the homeless in this country, we also need to help them, so we need big social programmes uh, to do that, to stop um, inequality and to stop homelessness in general. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of veering off from the point now. Um, so, Theresa May's Brexit deal, I reject it, you reject it, everybody rejects it, it's terrible. Uh, it gives us full control, well, it gives the EU full control of our economy and it stops freedom of movement. Uh, I mean, for me, Brexit would be better the other way around. We want to completely remove any economic uh, rule from, of the EU over Britain, um, but to increase uh, freedom of movement to not just uh, white Europeans, but to anybody that wants to travel uh, anywhere, essentially, because that's what humans have been doing since the dawn of history. Um, Theresa, uh, so yeah, Theresa May's deal, terrible, reject it. I'm against that. The demonstration on Sunday is not about that. The demonstration on Sunday uh, is about uh, opposing Tommy Robinson and stopping him from hijacking the Brexit cause. Um, as you can see, 
recently, hopefully, that uh, Nigel Farage has left UKIP. Paul Nuttall has left UKIP. Uh, a, a lot of prominent UKIP members are not happy with Gerard Batten, the current leader's uh, sort of appointment of Tommy Robinson as, a, as an advisor. Um, so, you know, this is a troubled time for UKIP. Either they're heading towards a very far right direction, um, which is which will you know bring them in line with Tommy Robinson's fascist views, which can be very dangerous, as there are uh, a lot of sort of rising fascist forces across Europe already that they could align themselves with. Um, so that is worth opposing. So you know, if what I'll say to you is, if if you are pro Brexit, great, me too. I'm also on board with you, but do not attend this demonstration and march alongside Tommy Robinson because that is not the Brexit we want, and that is not. Uh, any support of Brexit whatsoever, that's support for Tommy Robinson, and Tommy Robinson is not in support of what we want or who we are as a country, and, you know, he swings in the face of the people from this country, our grandfathers, our relatives in the past, uh, who, who died fighting fascism, fighting Nazis. Tommy Robinson's just trying to bring all of that back again, so um, do not support him, do not go on his demo. Uh, likewise, don't support UKIP. Um, so what I'll say is... Um, Obviously, continue to show your support for Brexit, continue to uh, show your lack of support for Theresa May's Brexit deal. Um, so stay at home that day, or better still, join the counter-demonstration with me, uh, with everybody else that opposes Tommy Robinson, that opposes fascists and that opposes Nazis and racism uh, and the National Front and the other like that will be out marching alongside Tommy Robinson and will be violent and will be, you know, most likely drunk and, you know, the, the usual sort of hooliganism uh, that you expect on sort of EDL and National Front and BNP demonstrations, uh, that will be the case on Sunday, despite what Gerard Batten says. Um, so that's all from me. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to put up a, another video, hopefully before the, um, uh, uh, the, the votes or the debate in Commons about the Brexit deal. Um, please, 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 if you're a, a Labour MP watching this or any MP watching this, please vote against Theresa May's Brexit deal. Uh, we need to renegotiate and we need to get something better for the British people. Um, so that's me. I'm out. I'll catch you next time.